Hey friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a fantastic Easter if you celebrate Easter. If not, I hope you had a great weekend. We did over here. It was busy, busy, busy. Um, we celebrate Easter and so did dinner with my parents, did dinner with my father-in-law yesterday, had some friends over. It was a really good weekend. Also celebrated my daughter's second diversary, we call it. Um, she's had type 1 diabetes for two years so it's like a birthday party but for your diabetes <laughs> so we celebrated that as well it was a great weekend today i'm sharing a layout with you that is a six by eight layout it is a hybrid layout um i used my cricut to help me um plan out the layout to begin with and then put it together. There are some die cuts in this video and I'm using some older papers as well. Uh, some photo play and then there's some simple stories in there as well. There's just a bunch of things that pull together that I thought coordinated really nicely. So right now I'm working on the journaling mat. My journaling was typed on textured white cardstock that was trimmed down to roughly three by five ish might actually be a bit bigger than that I can't remember I made this a couple days ago so my memory is a little fuzzy on the fine details um, but it is matted to a uh, die cut um, scalloped mat that I cut with my Cricut um, and then that was layered over top of this red pattern paper which is from Simple Stories it's from their mix and a mingle uh, Christmas collection from this year I used paper from the 6x8 paper pad that stripe pattern paper is um, older photo play and then this torn piece of pattern paper I found in my stash I'm pretty sure it is um, Coco Vanilla Studio um, probably most likely from No Limits so obviously that was wider than my layout base so I trimmed off the edges of that and just threw it out because um, I didn't need it uh, they were too small right to hang on to so got rid of that and then I am adding ephemera and die cuts from Simple Stories Happy Hearts I really liked that heart banner um, with the concentric hearts in it and I thought that it coordinated really nicely with um, the rest of the papers and stuff that I used in my layout. So most of the embellishing um, that are die cuts anyways is going to be coming from Simple Stories Hard Eyes. The rest is Cricut generated. So the scallop circle was cut from uh, different Simple Stories pattern paper and then the circle inside it is textured white cardstock and I added a uh, phrase to it which is my title that says always loved never forgotten. Uh, this layout is about Gregory, my first cat. He made me a cat mom. I rescued him years ago um, from the place that I was working at. Uh, he couldn't stay because some people there had some significant allergies to him. And um, so I thought that I would bring him home. I offered to take him and the rest was history. The hearts that I'm working on right now were created with my Cricut. Um, it is actually a die cut to begin with. It's a scalloped heart and would cut in two pieces. So the scallop portion and then the inset um, portion would be cut a second time. I tried cutting the scalloped heart um, first and it didn't cut very well because it's so intricate. So I ended up converting that portion of the cut file to draw and then use the offset feature so that it would draw and cut. And then the inset portion I just cut with, uh, or cut from cardstock. So that is in pink, that is in red. Um, the little red heart, the scallop border around it is yellow. Um, I didn't have a pink that matched closely enough to the pinks in the rest of the layout. So I had to think of something different. And so I came up with yellow because there is a little bit of yellow um, in the rest of the layout. That little XOXO die cut is from Happy Hearts and the hearts that I'm adding to the top of my photo here are also from Happy Hearts. I was going to attach the heart right away and then um, realized I still needed to attach this whole mat to the layout base. 
Um, so I did that. So the layout base itself is six by eight inches. It is going to go into a page protector. And then the mat um, that was attached to it was slightly smaller. So it's five and three quarters inches wide by seven and three quarters inches tall. I printed my photo at home, converted it to black and white, and then printed it at five and three quarters inches wide by, I think I did three and three quarters inches tall. Um, yeah, and I printed it at home. So those hearts from Happy Hearts are going on top of that photo of Mr. Gregory's feet. I added one of the um, brads. I had to think for a second what they were called. And then I'm attaching some enamel dots. Um, these are actually from Doodlebug because uh, I felt like I needed more red in the layout. So I brought some more red up to the top of the page and then pull out the Wink of Stella to add some glitter. So I'm going to add glitter to the heart banner and then to both hearts in my title. And then I'm going to add the glitter to those hearts at the top of the page as well. And with that, I am pretty well done this layout. I absolutely love how it came out. Um, I used the word prompt remember to start the story at like it was my starting point kind of thing and it was great for uh, the story about Gregory who just happened to come across my Facebook uh, one day in the recent past and I was like perfect fit I can't not tell the story here's the close-ups thank you so much for joining me today friends I hope my layout inspired you and I will be back again soon with more inspiration bye guys <laughs>